Welcome to another Evil Live Readings. Today I'm reading Clive Barker's Hellraiser Omnibus, Chapter 12. I'd like to invite you to support this channel by becoming a member and shopping our Evil Live merch. Both links are in the description below. Welcome. Am I dead? Not yet. I only have time for one thing right now, and this isn't it. That is not your decision. Then what is? How you are going to die. Whoosh! How very native. Hello? I've destroyed many of the toy maker's devices. I have heard your call. It has gained your entrance to this temple. See it. Elliot Spencer, soldier of Earth and Hell. You accomplished what most only dream of for eons. You have escaped Hell's grasp. Your voyage is unlike any other in existence. But the true test begins now. What say you? I want to see the world bleed. Good. How about you let me go, or I choose how you die? You misunderstand, and that is exactly why you find yourself in this situation. You have a beast in you. It has always been there, made stronger through your pact with hell. In order to do what will be necessary, the beast must die. How can I trust you? Look within. What do you feel? Holy shit! Only one thing stands in your way, soldier. Your body. You had to become human to achieve something inhuman. But now, you've gone as far as your mortality allows. The thing that brought you here is the very thing that holds you back. The irony is not lost on me. Eat, soldier, and be free. What the bloody hell? Free from the shackles of your humanity. Free to do what you were destined to be. That is a very good response. The first since you have been here. It is working already. I want you to think about the moments that have led you here, Kirsty. Let's go back to the moment where this all began. You were scared. You still are. It's okay to admit that. I took care of it. You always do, don't you? Like you took care of me? And me? And me? Have you even stopped to count the bodies, Kirsty? Every time you take care of it, you begin a whole new series of chain reactions. Stop for a moment and look. Is that really me? Your love doesn't have to be a poison. The journey is meant to be frightening, Kirsty. If nothing is at stake, 
then indifference is all that remains. But you have to know that you cannot simply react anymore. You are not where you belong, and because of that, a great evil is about to be loosed upon the world. You cannot kill him, not if you want your humanity back, but you must stop him, now. If you don't, things will only get worse. Much worse. Fuck! Heaven and Earth depend on you, Kirsty. But you must first kill the beast. I'm ready. You've done it, soldier. You should be pleased. A book of death, till our last breath. Hmm? Sink like a stone and die alone. On death's breast. Are we laid to rest? Sink like a stone and die alone. Fuck me. How long was I gone? What do you mean, God? It's a fucking bust! The goddamn box doesn't work! It was a stupid idea to begin with! What could it have possibly done? A lot! Boom! What was that? That takes care of the... Smash! Boom! Exquisite. Oh Christ! This is bad! At least we have a trail of breadcrumbs to follow. For a minute there, I thought we had something to worry about. What have you done? I'm not the one who smashed the box and opened the gates of hell. Am I, little girl? Thunk! What did they? This is where it gets fun. Thank you all for tuning in to today's evil live reading of Clive Barker's Hellraiser Omnibus. Please consider liking this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell so you will hear the toll whenever I upload a new evil live reading. And as always, remember that evil spelled backwards is live. So get out there and be evil.